It's very moving for me. It's moving me so much to me. I cannot tell you. Uh, and to the world, it's a class thing. Um, a short story. During the March on Washington, I stood there with, uh, at the steps watching Dr. King talk about his dream and wondered whether or not I would ever see that dream so far from my goal. And then about eight years ago, I had some time off from homicide and I went to DC with my, my daughter who had played on that, around that ship, my oldest daughter who run around on that very ship. She's a lawyer today. And, and we went to the spot where we were, I was standing and I was telling her how years before I had stood there listening to Dr. King's speech and, it, and a, um, a bus pulled up with uh, a bunch of children from Japan and they ran out, got out of the bus and they ran towards me and they were, I, I couldn't understand what they were speaking, I was speaking their language. But there was one thing I, that blew me away, was the fact that they all were saying one word, alien. <laughs> <laughs> and at that moment, it was so spooky because I'd realized that the dream had come true. I was now known all throughout the world. The movie opened the door up for women never before in the history of movies have we seen a heroic woman do what Sigourney did. <laughs> and all other movies after that portrayed women in those heroic worlds. And it was the first time an African American had been seen uh, in, in a role like that. Uh, <laughs> and so today we see we see women and African-Americans in those heroic roles because of this man right here. Thank you, Ridley. God bless you.